Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be your weekly energy reading for the week of October 7th through the 14th, or the 13th, I guess. 13th would be Sunday. So the 7th through the 13th. Um, and we're gonna just look into it for the air, or the earth, air, fire, water signs. <clears throat> um, the decks that I'm working with are the Vampire Tarot and then also the Madame and Dora's fortune cards. So for um, earth signs, earth signs, you guys got the oracle, seek wisdom and guidance from elders. You got the page of swords and you got the moon card. So earthy signs, this week is a good week for you guys. One, to seek advice, assistance, guidance, mentorship from someone older than you, somebody who is more, and it doesn't have to be older than you in age, it could just be somebody who is a little bit more experienced in some sort of realm, in some sort of topic, subject matter that you are concerned about. <clears throat> the oracle is usually that person who embodies this um, vision or this ability to um, give advice from a perspective of seeing into the future. Um, but when you're going to somebody who is a little bit more experienced than you, it's, it's like they've been there, done that, they've lived it, they've experienced it. So they kind of are able to kind of give you like a future perspective, something to, um, something to be aware of, something to see what, what is, what is to come for you. Um, you guys also got page of swords in the moon card. So the moon card comes up when when we're looking at illusions, when there's things that come up this week that maybe it's not what they seem, okay? This could also be illusions with people, so not everybody can be what they seem. This could be a positive, but it could also be a warning card. Um, for, for a warning for don't get caught up in the daydreams, don't get caught up in the fantasy kind of thing. Like you also have to keep a foot in reality. The fact that you got a swords card also shows me that um, my earthy signs, a lot of you guys are going to be lost in your thoughts this week. Um, the page of swords also is a bringer of new ideas and inspirations. So be aware of that. Be, be open to, to these new thoughts, these new ideas and whatnot. But also I feel some of you guys would be um, it would be really good and beneficial for you guys to seek guidance from someone older, somebody who is more experienced this week um, and whatnot. So really cool um, week ahead for you guys. It just kind of looks like a real chill, <clears throat> more in your head space kind of a week. Um, next we have the air signs. So air signs, you guys have the Griffin, honor and good luck. You also have the five of cups and the four of cups. So honor and good luck air signs. Um, five of cups is usually about regrets. There's something you may regret. There's something that could have took place emotionally that is just kind of caught up in your mind, in your heart, you're feeling it. But then the four of cups also is, is not taking on an opportunity. So air signs, if there was a recent um, situation where you guys passed up an opportunity or you passed up, um, you know, doing something and now it's re you're regretting it, um, the griffin is kind of revealing that it was all meant to be. So there could have been something that recently took place that you guys just weren't a part of and maybe you, you didn't go to this event or you didn't go out with that person that asked you out or you didn't take initiative in some Thing. and you guys might be sitting in regret for that because that five of cups can reveal that um, but the, the griffin saying honor and good luck is just kind of saying things were meant to be um, pretty much the situation it happened for how it happened because it needed to happen that way um, so if you guys are sitting with regrets and whatnot know that you probably weren't supposed to be taking part in that situation that event going out with that person and like look at it as you dodged a bullet kind of a situation um the other thing i'm saying is seeing is like with this week it's this is a chance for you guys to turn that around so perhaps the griffin card is coming up saying this is a good luck card for you that you're going to have a really good omen this week that there's going to be some good fortune coming your way there's going to be another situation another opportunity that four of cups um where you will have the ability to make a decision different from what you did previously so kind of like a second chance for some of my air signs so keep out keep a watch for that this week if you do have a second chance opportunity i would say go about that situation a little bit differently than you did the previous one 
Um, and then also understand that we can't cry over spilled milk. Like that's what I'm seeing with that, the, the couple of cards, the couple of cups that are flipped over. It's, it's kind of one of those things where what is done is done. If you didn't take part in it, that's it. There's nothing more you can do about that. You can't sit and regret and cry over it. It's just what it is. It is what it is. So air signs, just keep a lookout for a new opportunity this week. Take advantage of it, but know that you, you dodged a bullet. So you, you guys are okay. Um, my fire signs, we have the maiden, a new relationship blossoms. Um, we have two of wands and we also have two of pentacles. Interesting. So you guys got twos. Twos is the number of couples. Two is the number of, um, unity of equality of, um, love and and relationships and connections with people so this if it this isn't if this isn't a budding new relationship for some of you um fire signs this could also be a new friendship this could be a new connection networking that kind of thing too um two of wands and two of pentacles is a major decision on you know on the brink so this is a week my fire signs where you guys are going to be guided and called to having to make a big decision one one way or the other um this could be a big decision between an actual lover okay so some of you guys might be deciding if this is going to be a relationship that you guys want to move forward with um some of you guys might be deciding if this is the path that you want to take or this is a a, a business relationship that you want to move forward with or a business idea um, so it doesn't have to just be romance and love. Um, it could just also be a new relationship blossoms can literally be a new business partner or some sort of, um, working with another, you know, another small business and whatnot. Maybe you guys are combining ideas. Um, but what I see with the two of wands is, is looking outside of your typical boundary, your typical comfort zone. Um, two of wands is usually like you're looking out into the world to see what else is out there for you guys. So looking to expand is what you guys need to do this week. And lastly, we have my water signs. So water signs, we have the Harlequin. The true feelings are masked. This is like the second time we got this card, I think. Um, the sun and the four of wands. So true feelings are masked. A lot of us water signs, we're holding back. Maybe we are playing face this week. Maybe we are trying to hide our true initial feelings because we don't want people to see what's going on deep down inside of us. Some of you guys, this could be a positive. Sometimes we mask our feelings because maybe we have a, a big secret that we want to reveal, but we're not quite ready to reveal it yet. Um, or on the other hand, we're masking feelings because we are trying to hide something that's bothering us and we don't want people to know. Um, so be careful with that my water signs um sometimes it's nice to have that support system there but if you truly aren't ready to share with the world that's okay too um the sun card with the four of wands though is another kind of to me is is showing like really good balance it's showing to be gr grounded and the home life is gonna feel good so this is a really good positive week i'm taking this from a personal perspective for myself my home life is feeling really good right now because hubby's home so if that's for me that's how i'm seeing it um, but for some of you guys, the sun card and the four of wands is kind of saying making your home your center of like this, 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 you know, the sun is like the center of the universe or so we thought it was. Um, it's kind of like saying make your home space the center, your home space, your headquarters, the center of your world this week. Um, pay attention to your emotions. The sun card can sometimes signify the solar plexus chakra in your belly. So pay attention to the way you guys feel um, your health this week. That too. Um, but the four of wands is also a need for grounding. So my water signs, if you guys are going through some stuff and you're not really ready to share it with people, um, make sure at least that you are doing something to ground yourself and you're taking part in activities or being around people that make that, that are like a light in your life that make you feel happy and positive and optimistic. So just watch out for you guys. Watch out for yourselves, my loves. So other than that, you guys, it looks like it's going to be a really good week. Um, I hope that <clears throat> all of you guys were able to resonate with the cards. And don't forget to look up for look up your sun, moon, and rising signs. Um, and if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. I love to read what you guys have to say. Have a beautiful week, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, loves.